Howdy, everyone. Welcome to This Old Vegan. My name is Merlene Vassell, and in this video, I'm going to try to answer the question, what the heck are vegan clothing and fashion? And I'd like to thank Hoya Philosopher for suggesting this topic. As you know from my previous videos, I consider myself to be an ethical vegan. An ethical vegan is someone who tries to avoid harm to animals, and that's the reason for being vegan. Many items of clothing are made from animal parts, and I'm going to talk about a few such materials so that you can understand why an ethical vegan would avoid them. The first and most obvious would be fur and leather. I don't distinguish between the two because they are both made from the skin of slaughtered animals. Obviously, this is not something that an ethical vegan would wear. The second and less obvious item is wool. Most people think, well, wool is just made from the fur of sheep, so what's the big deal? The problem is that the wool is shorn off of the sheep with course, sharp shears, which means that the animal may be hurt. And of course, the animals are kept in captivity. The sheep are kept in captivity so that their wool can be harvested. Another material made from animals is angora. Angora is wool that is actually made from the hair of angora rabbits. To do so, the fur is either plucked from the rabbits or shorn off, similar to the way that sheep are. And of course, that raises the same issues. Feathers and down are also used in fashion, particularly in winter jackets that have that puffy kind of look and that are meant to keep people very warm. But what a lot of individuals don't understand is to get those feathers, oftentimes the feathers are plucked from the birds several times during their lifetime, which is painful, or they are removed from birds after they are killed. Finally, I'll mention silk. Silk is made from the cocoon of silkworms, but in order to get the cocoons undamaged so that the silk thread can be unraveled, the silkworms are killed by steaming the cocoons while the worms are still inside. That is, of course, extremely inhumane. Although many of these materials could theoretically be obtained without injuring animals, it is the practice of industries to be as efficient and cost-effective as possible therefore avoiding harm to the animal at the expense of um, increasing cost is not going to happen. The best way to avoid harm to animals in this manner and in these industries is to avoid purchasing these items altogether. Also, even if the animals are not harmed as, as these materials are being harvested, at minimum the animals are going to be kept in captivity. Now, a little bit of good news. Some women's undergarments and um, corseted type dresses contain a material called boning. This material used to be made from the jaws of whales. However, nowadays boning is generally made from plastic or steel. So you don't have to be concerned if you have boning in your clothing. Something else that I avoid purchasing is fast fashion. These are items of clothing that go in and out of style quickly and are very cheap. The reason I avoid them, even if the materials are vegan, is because they are often made in sweatshops in Asia, Central America, and South America. Sweatshops have also been linked to many name brands, especially in terms of athletic wear and athletic shoes. So I really would encourage you to do some research if you plan on shelling out your money for these items. Fast fashion also contributes to the devastation of the environment 
because massive quantities of dyes and other chemicals are often very irresponsibly dumped into the environment. Also, because this clothing is cheaply made, it wears out quickly, and because the styles tend to be trendy, they go out of style quickly, and all this clothes ends up in a dump. In addition to avoiding animal materials in clothing, I also avoid them in jewelry. Pearls may look beautiful, but they are also very cruel to harvest. The way that pearls are produced is an irritant gets into the shell of a mollusk and the creature secretes um, a substance which coats the irritant in order to smooth it out. The resulting object is a pearl, which is beautiful to look at. Unfortunately, what humans have done is purposely put irritants into the mollusk and then they kill the mollusk in order to take the pearl. It's um, a very cruel and inhumane practice. The next is tortoise shells. Tortoise shells are sometimes used to make jewelry. And again, although the tortoise shell may be beautiful, it's a lot more beautiful on the tortoise than on your arm as a bracelet. Mother of pearl is something that you may have seen in jewelry. It's a beautiful material because it's very iridescent. However, what it's made from is the shells of mollusks. Mollusks. <laughs> very difficult word to pronounce. It's made from the shell of mollusks. You know what I mean? And conchs, which are essentially huge snails. And again, that requires, it doesn't require killing of these animals, but that makes collecting the shells more efficient, so the animals are killed. A couple of other materials that are not vegan, but are less commonly used are coral and ivory. Harvesting coral damages the reefs, which are critical to the health of oceans and therefore the health of the entire planet. And ivory is harvested from the tusks of elephants and other large animals such as boars. Again, they are killed in order to take their teeth. Something else that I avoid as a vegan and just as a human are diamonds. The reason I avoid diamonds, as beautiful as they may be, is, the, is because many of them are linked to the exploitation of people, particularly in Africa. They've been used to subsidize wars and um, other violence, and they have also been mined oftentimes in a way that devastates the environment. Although it's possible for diamonds to be vegan and to be mined humanely, because I don't know where they came from, I would rather just not use them at all. Furthermore, crystal, which is made from glass and certain minerals, in my opinion, is just as beautiful as diamonds and a lot less expensive. And I've told you before, I am a cheapskate, or to say it more delicately, frugal. Now I should mention that I am not an expert on any of these topics, and I really, really encourage you to do your own research. I would um, encourage you to make sure that you are looking for sources of information that are not tied to the industries because of course they have an interest in making their products sound as good as possible. Finally, I would like to emphasize that although it may seem difficult to avoid all of these products, it can be done. There are many beautiful options for clothing made from cotton, which is of course a plant, rayon, which is made from tree pulp, or synthetic fibers. Vegan or not, it's often difficult for me to find clothing that fits me because I'm only five feet tall and I wear a size five shoe. Nevertheless, I've been able to purchase vegan clothing that I'm very happy with for the past 25 years. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. 
I found that there's really absolutely no reason to incorporate animal materials into my wardrobe. It just takes a little bit of extra time to educate myself, read labels, and shop with purpose. So how much attention do you pay to clothing labels? Are there any materials that you simply won't purchase? I'm very curious to read about your experiences in the comments. And I'm also happy to answer any questions that you have if I can. Again, I'm not an expert, but I can tell you what my experience has been. Thank you for listening to this video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care.